Hey guys, Erin Latimer here. Today I want to talk to you about cliffhangers. Anyone that follows me on Wattpad knows that I like my cliffhangers at pretty much the end of every chapter. Why? Because I'm evil. But here's the question, exactly how cliffhangy should your cliffhangers be? And yes, cliffhangy is the technical term. What's the balance between hooking your readers in so that they want to read more, or seriously ticking off your readers so that they never want to pick up a book by you again? How do you balance this? Personally, I think that cliffhangers at the end of chapters are a great idea. They hook the reader in, and they get them turning the pages and saying to themselves, just one more chapter. And that's how I end up staying up all night reading books. But let's say for a minute that you're writing a series of books. We're not talking about chapters here, but a cliffhanger at the actual end of the book. I think it depends. Like everything else, it can be done really, really well or really poorly. If you're writing a series on Wattpad or you're self-publishing your book, I think it's okay to have a cliffhanger at the end as long as you're not making the reader wait for two to three years in order to get their hands on the next book. With Wattpad you have the freedom of publishing your book whenever you want to, whenever you get time to write it. So book two isn't going to take years and years to come out, unless you're really, really busy. It also depends on the type of cliffhanger. As a reader, I don't mind having unanswered questions at the end of a book. Or say, a situation at the end where the character doesn't have a happy ending. Yet. The only thing that would really annoy me is if the character was in any kind of immediate danger, or was, say, a character's about to get stabbed and then it's the end and you have to wait till book two to figure out if they're going to survive or not. That would be, I think, enough for me to say, nope, not going to read book two, I'm too annoyed by that and I don't trust the author not to do that next time. What about you? Do you write cliffhangers and do you enjoy reading them or do they drive you nuts? Let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching, and don't forget, if you want to check out more about the Wattpad 4, there'll be links and information in the section below, or you can search us on Twitter under the hashtag Wattpad4. Bye for now, and I'll see you on Wattpad.